OK, I'm going to show you a couple of new features in Business Object XI. And I'm going to show you the optional prompt feature and the ability to alert on changes to data. So to do this, I'm going to create a brand new document from scratch. So I'm clicking on the document list and then new web intelligence document. I'm going to base this on the eFashion universe, uh, which is for a retail outlet allowing me to track my sales. That's the query panel opening up. Right, I'm going to start off with a report that shows me my years, quarters and my sales revenue. I don't want all years so I'm going to put a prompt on the year by dragging it down here and I want the year equal to a prompt that I'm going to select. Now you notice we've got this options, the prompt properties option coming up here and I can make this an optional prompt. Click OK and when I run the query it's given me my usual ability to select one or more years. Um, however if I don't hit select a value then it will run for all years. And there we can see we've got three years, 2004, 2005, 2006. If I were to re-refresh that data, refresh the values, and choose just 2004, we can see that this time the query filter has been applied and we're seeing just the year that I've selected. What I want to do with this report is to see how the data changes year on year. Right. So to do that, I track changes. Switch it on by clicking this button here. Right. We can use the same baseline data over and over again, or we can simply make it remember the previous set of values. I'm going to select that option, which is Auto Update. Right. So if I refresh the data now, 2004, we can see nothing's happened. If I refresh the data again and choose a different year, 2005, right. we can now see two years worth of data on here. 2004 has been scored out and 2005 is in blue. And the reason for that is if we look at the, the tracking options, we can see that for new data, we're putting it in bold and deletions go in strike through. So because I changed the year, obviously we're removing 2004 and we're adding 2005. What we're really interested in is the changes in values. Right. Uh, so uh, changes to data, increasing values or decreasing values. To get those to come in, I need to change my query slightly. So let's go back into the query panel. I'm going to remove a year and quarter from the columns and replace that with product line and category. And I'll run that report again. Again I'll start with 2004 and I'll put in my product lines and my categories. Again, because it's the first time we've run the report, everything is black, normal formatting. If I refresh the data again, and choose 2005. Right, we can see here that the majority of the data has increased in value, hence it's highlighted green. There are a few that are in red, telling me the value has decreased. And I've got one value here, skirts which we have not sold any items so the data wasn't returned for skirts therefore it's been struck through. Right, obviously we're in the report writing environment here I'm going to save this report and look at it through the normal info view interface so I'm just going to save this document I'll save it as a favorite new web intelligence document that's exporting and I'll now go to my document list. So that's us out of the Java interface and we're into the normal interface the end users will see. There's the document we just created. Double click on it to open it. 
Right, we can see it's remembered all the formatting that we had when I refresh from 2004 to 2005. Right, if I refresh that again, right, it's simply loading up the prompt information just now. And I'll choose 2006 this time, run the query, and we can see here that we've got a lot of values where the value has gone down between 2005-2006, indicated by red values, a few that have gone up, and we've got a few new items, so samples we didn't sell any of last year, and skirts if I remember we didn't sell any of last year, but they're back on the inventory for this year. Right. And obviously we can track, we can deactivate tracking, we can change, hide the changes by simply toggling that on and off. Right. Whereas if we were to switch tracking off, it would r remove the previous result set which this is based on. And we can also modify the format. Okay, so that is two of the new features, conditional prompts and formatting of data changes.